Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome back. It's almost four o'clock in the evening. Four o'clock is like, we've talked about this many times. That's when I say evening starts. I don't know. I just feel like four o'clock is when afternoon ends and evening begins. I'm about to go ahead and start cooking supper. Tonight we're having the Fiesta Lime Chicken. So for the rub, the first thing we're gonna put in is olive oil. Now, I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm gonna be using more than the actual you know, recipe says, but I will have the original down below for y'all. We made pumpkin muffins this morning, y'all. If you missed yesterday's video, I'll link it down below. And it was like the perfect day because it's pouring down rain. It's been raining off and on all day long. The wind's blowing, so with the rain and the wind, it actually makes it feel kind of cool out there. So it just kind of feels like a fall day. And then with the pumpkin muffins and the pumpkin candles going, and y'all, those candles from TJ Maxx, the D, what are they? DW Home Candles. They are amazing, y'all. They smell just as good as the Bath & Body Works candles. I got the burnt caramel and pumpkin one. It is wonderful. And some of y'all said that the Sunday morning candle is really good. So if they still have that one, whenever we go back to TJ Maxx, I'm totally getting that Sunday morning one. Okay, let's see. Mainly and Cece are playing some kind of game. Jonah's eating pumpkin muffins. <laughs> Next we need lime juice and lime zest. Since I'm telling y'all about stuff, this ice cream scoop, y'all. I had the Pioneer Woman one for a really long time, and I do like it. It's the kind that you know you scoop and then you squeeze the little deal. But it was not heavy. It was very lightweight, and it was still super hard to get ice cream out of a carton, especially Bluebell. Let's just talk about Bluebell. Y'all know that that is the hardest ice cream in the world to take straight from the freezer and scoop it out. I have not tested this with Bluebell yet. We need to test that and see. <laughs> how it works but every other ice cream this thing it's a heavy dude like it's heavy I mean you can take that ice cream straight out and just boom get you a scoop of ice cream so we'll test it with Bluebell if it works with Bluebell that's the true test we'll know that this thing is wonderful but so far I'm loving it I'm pretty sure you can get these at Walmart did I get it from Walmart no I got it from Marshall's but I'm pretty sure they have these exact ones at Walmart lime zest going in I've been trying to get supper done earlier again since school starts back next week. Not this Friday, but next Friday is when we start back. So I've been trying to have supper done earlier again. During school, I like to have supper on the table by five o'clock. Let's see, we need chili powder, brown sugar, salt, cumin, paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. I'm trying to go ahead and get everything powder. we're gonna need. Yeah, garlic powder. I need six cows in the kitchen. Six cows in the kitchen? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. We need some pigs. Mm-hmm. We do need some pigs, don't we? Mm-hmm. Look at the baby pig. I'm just looking for the cumin. Oh, cumin. Mm-hmm. All right, there you go, Cece. Wait, Cece. Okay, here's Manny's turn. Y'all did a good job. Mm-hmm. Now we need the brown sugar and the chili powder. Like I said, I'll have the exact measurements down below for y'all. Yeah, that tastes terrible. It tastes terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, now we need chili powder. There you go, Sissy. There you go, Sissy. Mama gave them for you. Mm -hmm. We need salt right here. Salt right here, there you go. Don't get in your nose. All right, there's the paprika, Sissy. Oh. Onion powder. Let's mix it. Okay, onion powder. I'm going to mix it this. And garlic powder. Oh, you're already mixing, huh? Okay, Sissy's whisking that. The last thing we need is a little bit of pepper. Okay, bring it over this big bowl. I'm just going to put the chicken in here. So now we're just gonna pour this over the chicken and let it sit for about 30 minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and make the avocado salsa. And I'm just gonna fry up some tortillas like we did when we made that homemade pimento cheese. And we're gonna have some refried beans with it too. Okay, so for the salsa, first we're gonna put in an onion. And we do need the avocados, but we don't put those in until the end. So we're gonna make this salsa and then stick it in the refrigerator and it's just gonna chill in there while we're making the chicken and the refried beans and the tortilla shells. Onions, one can of Rotel. Only oh, that's the great value version, but 
Same stuff as Rotel. Black beans, rinsed and drained. You can also put corn and some fresh peppers in here. I'm gonna leave the peppers out though so that this isn't too spicy because we already have the little chili peppers in there from the can of tomatoes and chili peppers. Now we're gonna put in some lime juice. Next, we're putting in just a little bit of ground cumin and some pepper. All right, and that's it. That's all we're gonna put. Like I said, you can put corn and other peppers if you want to. So now, this is gonna go in the refrigerator, and when we get ready to serve it, then we'll slice up the avocado and add it in. So I've got the sauce in the refrigerator. We're gonna go ahead and cook the tortilla shells in here. Tortilla chips are done. Now I'm just gonna put the chicken in the same skillet here. It's gonna be loud. Now in the original recipe, they finished cooking it in the skillet on the stove top, but I have more chicken. So what I'm gonna do is brown the chicken and then I'm gonna stick it in the oven to let it finish cooking. all of the chicken in here. I'm gonna have to get one more smaller pan. All right, so all we're gonna do now is stick it in the oven at 350 and just let it cook until the chicken's cooked through. It'll probably just take about 10 minutes because I cooked it for three minutes on each side and so it's pretty much close to done now anyway. But yeah, just about 10 minutes at 350, 10 to 15 minutes should do it. Okay y'all, it's a little bit later now. We've got the kitchen cleaned up. Everybody is, almost everybody's ready for bed. I'm not yet, but anyway. <laughs> that Fiesta lime chicken was amazing. The chicken was really, really moist, you know, because we seared it in the skillet first and then cooked it the rest of the way in the oven. It was great with the salsa, with, it was just wonderful. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is tomorrow morning, I'm gonna make the blackberry breakfast crumble. I thought about going ahead and making it tonight, but I'm worried that the oats and everything will get too soggy if I make it tonight. And I don't want the blackberries to get way over mushy or anything if I go ahead and mix them with the sugar and flour and all that. So I'm just gonna get everything out. That way when I come in here in the morning, all my stuff is already set up here and ready for me. I'm gonna put it in the oven in this, but I also need a bowl to mix everything in. I'm gonna need one for the blackberries. I think I'm gonna put blackberries and blueberries in it. It's gonna be like a mixed berry with blackberries and blueberries. I'm gonna need one for the berries and then one for the oats. So we'll just sit both of these bowls over here. In the morning, I'll get the butter and the blackberries out. I'm just gonna leave those in the refrigerator for now. But it looks like oats is the only other thing I need to get out. Um, Is this, how much? Oh yeah, we just need half a cup of oats. So that plenty there and that's everything so in the morning I'll just get the blackberries and the butter out let me go ahead and get my measuring cups that I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a half a cup fourth a cup three-fourths of a cup half a cup fourth a cup and three-fourths there we go now I feel better see I mean even just doing this 
in the morning I'm gonna be like blackberry crumble everything's already set up and ready for me in there let's go let's do this let's bake with love <laughs> it is nighttime in the jungle the moon will surely rise all the animals are sleeping with whisperings and sighs. Listen to the tiger. Listen to the cheetah. Chee cheetah. This is a peaceful night in the jungle, isn't it? Can you hear the crocodile? Snorkeloo, snorkeloo. They not do that. I know. These are some funny sounds for them, huh? Crocodile. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and all the little monkeys chatter choo, chatter choo. Ribbit like that. Yeah, they say ribbit, don't they? The frogs. This says brought boop it, brought boop it. Go to the green jungle frogs. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping good, isn't he? But sometime after midnight, the elephant goes. <laughs> <laughs>